I really don't think that that situation changes much. I, I think it's very, very, it's, it's imperative that you make a decision about who your starter is. You know, and we kind of let the three guys two years ago decide that by their production. And, and it was Sam. And so we started Sam. And, it, and nothing else mattered other than who was doing a good job leading our team and who was producing. And so the situation with your backups a little bit different. Um, I, I want them both preparing to be the backup. You want them both to be uh, ready to play. You want to have the ability to go to both of them. And so we, we have a, for, we'll forever have a backup competition here behind the starter. And, and we'll play the guy that is most prepared that week to, you know, to back up Sam in the event that we would actually need them. And so I, I like that they both compete with each other. They both work with each other. They're both learning from Sam, which is fantastic. And, I, and I've urged them both, look, squeeze out everything you can from Sam Hell because, you know, when he leaves, it's a lost opportunity if you don't. So take advantage of it while you have it. And whether that's a year or two, what, we don't know, but take everything that you can get. And they're doing a good job of, of uh, sponging off of Sam. And I think the two of them are really doing a good job of being great teammates and great competitors.